<laughs> hey guys, YouTube peeps out there, wherever you may be, all over the world, here in my own backyard, here in Arizona, wherever you are, hello, hi, hope your day's going good. I've just been relaxing, um, watching TV all day. Uh, nothing too serious um, and and stuff leading up to this. Um, you guys have been checking in with me um, every day. Uh, we're doing a series um, that I'm putting up here on YouTube. Just about my life, things I want to talk about um, and stuff like that. Interesting topics. Things that I need to talk about that have been on the back burner for some time. And and so right now, you know, yesterday we kind of discussed unemployment and stuff like that. How I'm unemployed. And um, really the basis for my bad situation that I'm in right now. <clears throat> not having any money. Not being able to take care of any of my responsibilities. And as you guys know, as I said yesterday, you know, uh, part of it is a personal choice, uh, but part of it's not because I'm, I'm sick. I suffer from mental ailments. I have uh, severe anxiety attacks and suffer from a lot of pain. And those things prevent me from working. Um, basically, any hobby I've tried doing up until this point has failed because I've fallen under attack from my own mind through anxiety and negative thoughts, evil thoughts, um, to go through the list of things that I've done. Um, I've trained for a half marathon. I've started... Um, writing raps and stuff like that um, a long time ago. Um, I don't have the raps anymore because I, I threw them away. I was getting attacked and I was forced to throw them away. Um, other things that I've done. Um, so those are just the hobbies. Um, chess. Chess, I was being attacked while I was trying to play chess. I was, you know, I just was trying to have a hobby, trying to have fun, trying to do something positive, And I start getting these anxiety attacks inside my own head, making it to the point where it's no use of even trying to have fun because it's not even fun. It's the complete opposite. So I had to stop doing chess. I used to have games and stuff on my phone. I no longer have games on my phone, applications, games, because same thing, anxiety attacks. I don't play the Xbox that I have here because of that. So really the anxiety that I suffer from has affected all areas of any hobby that I've tried doing up until this point. The only thing that stuck around is writing raps and that even went away for a while but I brought it back again after a while of not doing it and I was really bored one day and I needed something to do so I picked up the pencil and started writing again um but you know uh, yesterday I told you guys I've been doing it cons writing raps consistently for several years and that is true but there are gaps that I've quit writing raps um, but I've always, but I've always picked back up the pencil, and continued writing again. Um, I I wouldn't say writing raps would be the first thing I would like to do. You know, at this stage in the game, I would like to be out there exercising, still training for the half marathon, competing in another half marathon. The first half marathon I was going to compete in, I received a really bad anxiety attack the night before the competition I was fully prepared and everything I had the distances under my belt now my time may not have been up there with um you know some of the top cats that are running these half marathons but I would have been able to finish I would have been able to continue running the 13 point 
whatever my I think is 13 point I'll say 13.2 miles um, without stopping but the anxiety attack I received the night before I almost ended up in the hospital I didn't sleep the entire night before by the time the time came around for me to wake up and go to the half marathon I was already awake I didn't sleep the entire night because I couldn't sleep because of the attack I received and so you know writing raps um, although I do like writing raps the raps that I write aren't how I would like to write them because I get attacked when I'm doing the raps so I can't really do as good as I would want to do I, I'm not be able to do the raps how I want to do them they're not turning out how I would choose them to turn out because of the mental elements I'm suffering from from and even then even if I you know they were turning out the best they could I would rather do some other things at this point such as exercising and being healthy being out there at the rec center doing stuff like that that's the type of person I am um, but you know I keep getting attacked anxiety attacks no matter where I've been um, evil force evil voices in my head have always told me to go do drugs they've always forced me to do drugs and stuff like that uh, methamphetamine and cocaine and all of these alcohol tobacco I'm not that type of person I don't like that stuff and but that's what's happening here and now is there's nothing to do all of my hobbies have been taken away from me the only thing that's left are drugs and alcohol and tobacco stuff that I've never done when I came into this world I never wanted that stuff and even when I was doing it I never wanted it and the only reason why I did it is because I was forced to do it I'm a victim of all of these things there's a lot of things that I would rather be doing right now so I'm not even close to where I want to be I'm not a happy person right now I'm, I'm not doing what I want to do I'm not being allowed to do what I want to do from whether it's God or the devil or just being um, schizophrenic or you know mentally not there all the way um, whatever it is um, I'm not doing at this point in time what I want to do how I could be happy I'm being kept from doing that so I'm pretty sad because of that. Um, it makes me really sad that I can't be the person that I want to be at this point in my life. Like right now, you know, I, I, I don't find recording myself all that cool. But I'm doing it because basically to stay alive because every day, all day I'm getting attacked. So I got to kind of like figure out where I'm at, what's going on in my head, stuff I don't want to do. I'd rather be playing basketball right now. I'd rather be playing ping pong. I'd rather be working a good job that I want to work. I'd rather be running around the racetrack, timing my sprint. Um, I'd rather be shopping at the mall. I'd rather be hanging out with friends. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm here on the camcorder. And at one point in time, I attempted to do those things, but it just wasn't successful. Um, so I really got to get these things under control. And the Carl T. Hayden VA is going to be critical and whether that's going to be successful because I can't do it myself. I have to have help from somewhere because it's just too big of a thing that's happening to me. I don't understand it. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I'm being attacked. So I think in order for me to be successful, it's going to require some help from somebody else. Uh, and stuff like that. So I, I hope it works out for me. I hope, I hope things turn out. I hope one day, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing everything I want to do. This is really fun. This is way cool. Um, I'm hoping that day um, comes around. 
but you know, I kind of want to make a, a an inference um, based off of where my life's at right now. Uh, I kind of want to make a, a statement, and so the statement is, what my life looked like five years ago is laziness, selfishness, and destructiveness, because today I am in dire need. Um, I made this statement based off of my situation now and I just described to you guys what my situation is like it's it's not good so if my situation isn't good now then um, that must be the result of negative things that I was doing five years ago because today is the result of my past actions up until this point is because of what happened before beforehand and so since it's so negative it has to be negative I couldn't see how that would make sense for me to say well five years ago I was working day in and day out um, towards living a healthy life eating healthy and I was disciplined to doing it I was dedicated to doing it but today, I'm in dire need. Today is horrible. Today, I don't have what I want. Today is all negative. Um, so it's kind of interesting, though, um, the point here. It's kind of interesting to see, to look at the past, present, and future. Uh, because, it, you know, the past, present, and future might not always work like that. I understand that. It might not be... One came before two, so one affected two. Um, there may be a little bit more to it, but the way that we're taught about time is that um, everything that happened yesterday was before today. And I guess it's kind of assumed that what happened yesterday led up to today, but there's not a lot of information about really what affects the here and now. Um, but in my opinion, um, I think that's a good state. The statement that I made is a valid statement. But I do see how um, time can be tricky uh, because there's a little bit more going on here that we're not being told in regards to what leads up to the present. And there's so many things going into what led up to the present as well. Um, and you're taught, one thing that you're taught is when things get too complicated, there's something shady about it and that's not a good thing. So, and that's how I see things at this point in time, as far as openness and transparency in this life, knowledge and people seeking knowledge and being Kings and really taking pride in who they are as human beings. I'm really not seeing that. What I'm seeing is duplicity and complexity and something just not right about this and nobody really around to kind of give you the down low on what's happening. And so I don't want to be that type of person. I want to kind of understand my existence. I want to be able to explain my existence that the way what led up to today, well, I could actually yeah explain to you to you exactly how today how this right here transpired from how this wound up on me to the sunlight in the sky to this car just driving by right here I can explain all of that exactly how it led up to this moment and that can be done and that's the point that I want to get to where I can explain my existence with confidence and say that the reason why I'm here right now is because five years ago or two months ago or three months ago this happened then this happened this 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 and hap happened and as you can see right here is right here precisely right here um, that's the type of life I have to live 
And um, those are the type of people that I want around me. And then you ask yourself, well, you got all these problems in your life. How are you going to juggle fixing your problems and um, understanding the world and understanding what the world really means? Can we even handle the real meaning of what this life means? Comes into question and then you say, well, do you really want to know what this life means then? If it risks being shattered and being disappointed, do I really want to have that type of knowledge on my shoulders? Or am I comfortable just going ahead in life as it is now today with a pile of shit? <laughs> when it comes to my history and the present and all of that. For me, I want the power in my hands. I want to be able to speak for myself. If you go to en.m.wikiquote.org, wiki quote website, and look up past, present, and future, it states past, present, future is a concept Comparing the different eras in time, the known past, the uncertain present, and the unknown but often optimistic future. Man must have, man must have been aware, man must have been conscious of memories and purposes long before he made any explicit distinction between past, present, and future. Gerald James Whitrow uh, stated that. And um, I find it interesting um, that he says that. Um, and I hope you guys can relate it back to what I was just talking about. Um, anyways, guys, um, thanks for checking in with me, uh, maybe Lee. Um, it's time for me to check out here today. We'll see you again uh, for another episode. I hope you guys are spending time trying to figure out this whole thing as well. And let's link up on the other side and let's combine forces.